Show one from the front of the uh, goal line, and then they show one like as the uh, move, the, the, the camera was going by. And bro, he looked the same like in every game. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't the light. That's what I'm really trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was not from this world. And the brother had caught it on accident. Remember, brother Pause Houston was watching the game. He Pause. Just... Yeah. <laughs> what the heck did I just see? Wait. Rewind that up. Bashim, Yahweh Shad, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles that great millstone taught us this word. Mashallah, Mama, all you brothers out there that's teaching this word, the truth is sincere. I'll be back out here another week. All right, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy this wicked kingdom, prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, all right, America, which is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, as well as to wake up the 12 tribes of the, uh, of the nation of Israel, the elect of you, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, <coughs> and Seminole Indians, man. All right, you are God chosen people. All right, and this book is for you, man. All right, and hey, hey, Yahweh Shai, he's, he's returning, man. All right, we're coming out here to tell you the signs, all right, because the Lord gave us signs, all right, on his return, man. You know, right. and now our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. You know, so we can, uh, we can start with that one. In that, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Right, you gotta know what time you're in, man. All right, this ain't this ain't the time, okay, of, of uh, uh, happiness and love, man. All right, this is the time of uh, the Lord gonna start judging uh, the two thirds of our people, man. Okay, right, bro. A lot of judgment goes out, man. You know, right? They just they just um um they just declare war on the U.S. And that was over there at them Arab nations, you know? Hasbollah. Hasbollah. They just declared war on the U.S., bro. Look at that. And then that you had the, we was bringing it out last week, you had that guy that was on CNN that was looking all bugged out, and he was talking about, it's you Americans turn. See? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Iranian prime minister. So it ain't time to sleep, bro. Right, right. It's the time of war, man. The spirit of war is in the air, man. You know? And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is a man of war, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, That's yeah. why it's war on the earth, man. Yeah. Because the Lord is the orchestrator of it, man. You know? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm yeah. talking to you. It says, in that, knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Right. So knowing the time that we in, we're in the time of the end. We're in the time of Yahweh Shai's return. All right, it ain't the time to be uh, sleeping, man. Right. You know, it's the time to wake up and figure out who you are, man. All right, for, for you Jakes that's listening, you know, you're getting your head on straight. Hey, this is where it's at right now, man. You know, and another thing, only real men prepare for war. All right, you ain't got women that prepare for war. A lot of you <laughs> on this earth, you just, you just in the spirit of a woman, man. Yeah. Because you ain't see, you ain't hearing the sound of alarm. The real man is gearing up. Yeah. With this word, man, with the scriptures. You know what right. I'm saying? Why, why you other cats out there, man, you just, you just, you know, you off in the world doing some stupid stuff, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. It says, for, our, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Right now is our salvation nearer than what we believe, man. Okay? What's our salvation? And how should I come back and deliver us from this wicked place, man? All right, while the, while the missiles is coming down simultaneously, man. You know, because this place is destined to be destroyed as it is written, man. You know? So what we believe is it's even nearer than what we think, man. Yeah. You know? Yahweh Shai said, Behold, I come quickly. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna catch some people off guard, man. You ain't gonna know what hit you. It said the flood, man. It talks about the flood. Right. Which That's Esau right. gonna come in and bop you up over your head. He gonna do more than that, man. Right. He gonna lay you even with the curb. What the scripture say? Lay you even with the ground. And you women, you gonna be, you gonna be uh, Michael seven and ten. Yeah. Uh, what does that say? Uh, Myra the street, man. So Israel, <laughs> as a whole, man, you gonna be laid out like carpet. That's right. Yeah. right. It's the Lord that's gonna get his devil in charge to do it. You know? He said that he made the wicked for the day of evil, man. You know? Right. You said, uh, judgment first must begin at his house. Yeah. And if it first begin at us, we shall be the end of them that know not the gospel. Right, right. right. Yeah. Because the angels, because the angels is gonna do a lot of killing, man. You know, yeah. everybody who's who don't have that mark in their forehead, man. That, you know? When Jeremiah, uh, what is it, thirty-seven, uh, Jacob's trouble, thirty-seven, 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 yeah, Jeremiah thirty-seven, but uh, the elect is gonna be saved out of that, man. So the Lord's gonna uh, gather his elect, man, and. and Deliver them, man. The ones that that's uh, left, you know, that's here, man. You know, and, but the rest of you people, man, you gonna be through, man. Let me read this new NLT before we uh, we ain't gonna come back to it. It's uh, Romans 13 and 11 in NLT. It says, "This is all the more urgent for you to know how late it is. Time is running out. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than we than when we first believed." Right. This time of urgent, man. This is an urgent message. You know, <laughs> wake up. You know, for it's too late. You know, you're gonna be like Cain. You know, with the minister society. You know, yeah. now you realize you want to live, but it's gonna be too late, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. You know, with bullet holes. You know, with bullet holes, man. You're talking to yourself. Damn, I knew what you yeah. I knew about the prophets. I knew where they was at every week. Mm. You know, hey, we, when we say wake up, we mean fear the Lord, man. That's what we really need, man. Because it start with fearing the Lord, man. Right. That's where they tell you in Proverbs, uh, first chapter, uh, knowledge and wisdom. That's how you get uh, yeah, the, fear the, the, the fear of the Lord. It's the beginning. So when we say wake up, so like your brother, so when we say wake up, we telling you to come back to your power and fear Him and do what he, what He'd ask of you, man. You know, not just wake up out of your bed and shit and just oh well today is a good day. Uh, you know, let me read the Bible. <laughs> you know. Don't be settled on your leads. Actually get inspired. Be active. You know, don't just sit on the Lord's work, man. You know, yeah. but whatever it is that the Spirit is on you to do, you're supposed to do it. You know? <clears throat> We've gone through this before. Uh, I mean, if, if you, you know, where the prophets are, get out there with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and get in that atmosphere of where the prophets is at. Feel the Spirit flow, man. Yeah. You can't feel it. Really do your, uh, the airways, yeah, I'm yeah. talking to the men. The men out there. You know? same old shit that you're doing in the world and you're still comfortable with that man you ain't listening to the teachers man you ain't found them yet man the, the real teachers we're gonna we're gonna say something that's gonna cut your ass man yeah, you gonna be like damn oh shit yeah the spirit of the lord will prove you yeah. you sharpen any two-edged sword piercing even in the body of soul to, to, to your soul man yeah. you know yeah. paraphrasing people is what i'm telling you concerning of the thoughts trying to upgrade the new creature, man. We're not serving that old creature no more. It's serving those old sins, you know? This is the real battle, and the real battle you know, is some kind of...
bar, you you gotta you gotta know that you're gonna get hit. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get hit, but then that's when your adjustment comes. That's when you start to learn, oh I need to keep this hand up and <coughs> slip or whatever, you know? Keep you don't just you don't just stay getting hit. You know? You you adjust to where you don't get hit, you this is Proverbs 27 and 6. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Because your friend will tell your friend will tell it like it is. Whether it hurts your feelings, but it's to make you whole, man. And you may be, it may cut you or whatever, but it's, it's you're gonna heal after that, man. But but the but the but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful, fake ass friends. They'll lie to you. You know, they won't, they won't, uh, they won't uh, look out for you, you know, they'll say sweet words to you to, to get over on you, man. Right, but, but, a, but a real brother here that's looking out for you, he'll tell you to put down the fucking tree. You know, he'll tell, he'll, he'll get on you, man. He's making you sharp. He's making you sharp. It's iron sharpening fire, man. Right. right. You know, and iron, when you put in, you know, sh 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 and that's friction, that's heat. Yeah. You getting the heat on you know what I'm saying? You feeling it like, oh shit. But you, at the same time, you get the heat, you get sharp. Worthy to bear. Right. John the Baptist talking about the house shot. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Right. The Holy Spirit, which is the word and with fire. All right. Those are your the trials and tribulations that you go through, man. You know, all to make you a better man. You know, because we came up in this wicked society, all right, with all the, uh, you know, uh, selfishness. You know what I mean? Uh, greed. Greed. You know, the things that the world teach you, man. Yeah, those you are the trials. The scripture say we shall go through. Fire. Right. We're yeah. going through the fire right now. Before the actual fire. Right. Yeah. Right. Lord, Lord said, "I have chosen thee in the in, 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 in iron, the furnace of affliction." Yeah. Yeah. Right, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord, purifying us, getting those impurities out of us. Because gold don't break. Gold doesn't destroy. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not destructible, man. It lasts. And the Lord wants to see if we go and yeah. see if you hang our stuff. Are you a lively stone? Right. A king don't need nothing. He don't need 98% gold, 99%. He want 100% gold. Right. He wants that 100. 100. Right. That's what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This is uh, uh -uh. the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 9 through 11. It says, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh who corrected us, and we, have, and we gave them reverence. Father said, don't do this, don't do that, you know? All you do, you hear his voice, like, oh shit, you know? Yeah. And that was just, that was our earthly father, and we gave them reverence, right. you know? Right. He said, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits, right. and, and live? And live, and man. Live. You know? That's what, that's what Jake want, right? You want to live, you know what I mean? So the Lord telling you today, get, get with this, man, fear him. But the thing is, you got to have faith that these are the words of the heavenly father. You gotta have faith because if you don't believe that these are the words, you're gonna be like, oh man, white man wrote that, man. Now people, you know what I'm saying? They talk, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah. If you ask your spirit, you you want to keep don't believe in the most high. The scriptures say a fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You believe the most high and watch it. You're a fool. You're a fool. And, and that's an excuse, like I say, a, a simple man. You're just a wicked ass spirit that don't want to get correct. Everybody on this block, majority of everybody. The scriptures call you stiff neck.
after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Right. So the Lord chastened us uh, for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness. All right. Part of this truth, man. You know, becoming, becoming better, that, that pure man that he wants us to be, man. That he created us to be, man. You know, we wasn't made to be fucking uh, uh, NBA players, man. You know, yeah. football players. Things that Jake desired to be in this society, man. Yeah. A damn oh. rapper, man. Yeah, the only reason you know? they desire those things is because it, it, it yields uh, uh, currency, right. a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason Jake do it. You know what I mean? I think, I think They still wasn't uh, 100, man. Yeah, they fell. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah. Scripture said, uh, thy people of old possessed the land for a short time. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't possess the land that, the land that long. Yeah. You know? Because the, and the Lord allowed the Babylonians to destroy a lot of the temple and everything. Because the Lord wants to be uh, reverent first. He don't give a freak about, like he says, he don't dwell the temples made with hands. He want to be obeyed. Yeah. 
how they supposed to be treated instead of being fucking tyrants over your family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just beating your wife and shit, beating your children for no fucking reason. You know, it's a, it goes all where it goes deep. Yeah, it, 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 it's so deep, man. It, it's, it's, it's detail and deepness, man. Right. How the Heavenly Father wants us to be righteous in, in every fucking thing, man. How you deal with another nation, man? You When you see another man on the street, like, I don't give a fuck if he is a heathen, man. You supposed to treat that man with respect. The scriptures say, with all that, uh, uh, I mean, it says, uh, it's possible, uh, uh, live peaceable with all men. Right. Because that's, that's, that's part of the two greatest commandments. Loving the most high with all thy heart and thy neighbor as thyself. That can apply to any damn uh, uh, Israelite or heathen. You know, you can exercise that, man. You keeping the peace, you keeping, uh, you, you, you using wisdom. It's keeping you out of trouble. You being humble. You having integrity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Integrity goes a long way. It don't just it don't just stay with the, within the brotherhood. Yeah. Right. Integrity stay with wherever you go. That's where integrity rolling, man. Yeah. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Being honorable. Yeah. You see King David, and it was explained about him everywhere he went, it said that he behaved himself wisely. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and he had favor amongst his enemies. Because he behaved himself wisely. He, he, he made himself low at times. You know? Right, took the low. shine that the Lord gives you all right when you exercise in this word man doing doing uh what he said man doing the right thing you know yeah and we see when brothers we out and we uh they, they tell us man yeah they like, always man, tell us every time something about y'all man you know they want to hang out with us hang out you know <laughs> yeah, like that OG club yeah, yeah. he just kept coming to our table yeah, yeah. 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 posted up talking to us yeah, he was talking to us like he knew it too. Yeah. That's because of the love we show too, man. Oh, that, that, that sticks out. That sticks out when we 
go amongst the public because it ain't no love in society. You see Jake arguing amongst their company. Yeah. And when, but when we go out, it, it's like, man, it's like a spectacle. You don't smell no, no, no. You, know, yeah. you don't you hear the word saying? nigga getting tossed to and fro. Yeah, I don't really, you, you shouldn't be in the truth calling each other niggas, man. Damn, yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just not, that's like, it's like, that's, that's not. That's the old man. Yes, sir, that's yeah. Man. That's the old man. You can't do that, man. Yeah, calling each other niggas and thinking it's cool because y'all accept it. Fuck that, that shit. shit. Yeah, you have you accept that shit. That was the eyes of the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nigga shit. Yeah. Nigga God. We ain't no, we no longer niggas when we come to this knowledge, man. Yeah. Right. We are no longer that, man. That was a, a byword that the white man put on. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then, the, um, it's like a day out. Um, the scriptures say a, 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 a eloquent man is known far and near. Right. Eloquence is like somebody who, who has class to themselves. Right. Yeah, aristocrat. Arist yeah. Uh, aristocrats, man. That's who we are, man. We're we're the ruling people. We're the royal people on the earth, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where will royalty come from? Yeah, yeah man. Right.
that. Yeah, you'll be like, no, that's my spirit. Yeah, yeah, nah, for that. Hey, uh, <laughs> like your brother mentioned, uh, let your speech be always seasoned with salt, right? When you look at word sort of, may spare me 
I'm sorry, that they spare me not for my ignorances and it pass not by my sins. These my ignorances increase and my sins are bound to my destruction. Man, look at that. Look, that's what the Lord does, man. The Lord puts scars and stuff on the Lord. Yeah. It says, who would set forth over of my thoughts and discipline of wisdom over my heart? Discipline of wisdom over your mind, man. You know? That's right, bro. That's what the, what the word does, man. Yeah, that's why I tell you, it's the wisdom of Solomon, that wisdom will meet you in every thought. And that's the Lord said, scorch over your thoughts, because you may have a, a, we in the flesh, you may have a thought that's incorrect, but quickly a, a verse will come. I'm not, that, that's, I can't think like that. That's breaking this, this verse, or that scripture, that commandment. You may get carnal real quick, and then you're like, oh, shit, I can't get carnal, because, you know, the spirit, and that's the Hara Yeah, The carnal is enmity with the Most High. I've been tripping, too, because, you know, we, we deal uh, in the spirit of our Shemel Shai, and sometimes when the scriptures come to my head, I think to myself, I was not thinking about that scripture, that book. I haven't even read that verse in a minute. So how did it just come in my head like that? That's what it is. It's not yourself. That, that's the spirit. It's, it's showing you that the Lord is real, too. What we into is real. Scripture say, keep thy heart with all diligence, for honor be on the issues of life. Out of it are the issues of life. When you apply your mind to these scriptures, it's gonna come out. You know, because you build it yourself up, and it's gonna all come out, man. It's gonna profit everybody gonna see it. Like, damn. You know, he's a it, you know. Uh, uh, verse 3 says, least my ignorances increase, and my sins are bound to my destruction, and I fall before my adversaries, and my enemies rejoice over me, whose hope is far from thy mercy. scorches over Jake's thoughts all they doing is abounding more and more in iniquity and now it said like it like it said it said before my enemies and my enemies rejoice over me so Esau's rejoicing that he got Jake in that low ass estate and Jake can't snap out of that cycle of wickedness can't do it yeah that's Revelation 11 chapter yeah. Uh, and they made, matter of fact, we get that real quick. Yeah. Because they Esau gifts. does, he did rejoice. Uh, that, 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 that the fall of uh, Jacob. Man. God. You watch that movie, uh, they call Tyrone. You see what they want us to be. Yeah. Uh, you know, just drug dealers, pimps, and hoes. Man, that's it. That's it. That's, it. it. that's the fucking it. Man, you ain't doing that wasn't a movie of your entertainment, Jay. That was a documentary on you niggas, man. Yeah. In the form of comedy. You put the evidence right in front of you. You know? Yeah. This is Revelation 11 and 10. They was mocking you. They was putting the crows on and yeah, shit. Yeah. Right through for Africa. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Selling you chicken. Uh, 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 perfume. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, hair products. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man. Perms. <laughs> Perms and weeds, man. You know? And you're in the church. It's like yeah, right. and in the church. That, 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 that scene church. was fucking... You watch that scene, yeah. that church scene, man, that scene had demons on oh, man. man it was, was so crazy. real, man. I was like, yo, man, that shit. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it make you pause and be like, man, this shit crazy. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. But this is uh, Revelation 11 and 10. Just to back up what you said, man. Yeah. But it says, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. And shall, and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. Woo! Because at one point we had them all, yeah. these nations, man. But now they got us. They got us. And they rejoice on them. Yeah. Okay, they hire you to come do their uh they lawn work. Oh they landscape. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like um, check it out. You know, Ja Rule was hot for a minute, yeah. Ashanti was coming out, and you had that them, them different type of artists, and they were yelling out, um, murder ink. Murder Inc. Come to find out, Murder Inc. is a goddamn Jewish. Um, it's a, what was that? It's a, back to the small hands. They go back to the goddamn small hands. All these records, the major 
when you go to war, right. all the enemy got to do is grab your fucking hair and stick you. Yeah. Move your head around, wherever the head go, the body going to follow. Yeah. That's how I go to you know what I'm saying? I know if I was to get in a tussle with a nigga with dreads, it's over quick. Because I'm going to grab that nigga by his dress, I'm going to twist it, I'm going to wrap it around my hand, I'm going to fuck his ass up. Yo. Yeah, and the nigga going to be like, why you grab a set up, nigga? Why you got long hair? Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a part of wars. We weapons. Hair can be turned into a fucking weapon. That's what women do. When they fight, the first thing they do is grab each other's hair. Bitch, 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 you know. <laughs> they go like that. They go like that. Oh, they hammer. Paul said, Paul said, it's the same people man to have no hair. You got a TikTok prophet with you. Yeah. 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 You know, on them, you know, niggas got dreads down their shoulders and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, he, when he turned his hair and swing and, and shit. And he doing like this. You think it's magic? Yeah, that's shit. They doing like that's this shit. and that's shit. shit. Think he got out of his face and shit. Yes, it's a big, busy intersection. He do this with cars. Uh, 
Yeah. And guess what he had in his hair? He had long dreads. Looking like he was doing that dance like the dude on Memphis. He had the same hair like dude on Memphis. John Morant looking nigga, man. It says, verse 11, it says, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified. Right. Hey, Paul said it. Ooh. Such were some of you. Because you're going to have Jake coming out of them with your ways. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they were washed by what? Six, eight, you know what I'm saying? They're going to stand up straight and, 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 and be rent, man. It's like, uh, yeah. it's the only thing that's going to wash you completely. Yeah. Not no damn uh, therapy. You know, a, a therapist. They're gonna, they just going to prescribe you more drugs. Yeah. They're going to just figure out your secrets and put into statistics on, on how yeah. these people are really doing and, and report it back up to the higher ups. We got, we got them niggas. You know? And then another thing they're going to be doing is they're not going to be lining up their hair no more. Right, right. Because you find out that that, that lining up their hair is an effeminate uh, way. Yeah. You're trying to look all pretty and then, man, that's a whole um, session, yeah. like section. That's a whole section on the on the social media. Yeah, it's hot. Who got the hottest hairlines? Who got the best waves? Crispy waves. Crispy. I seen a dude, he, was, he, he got a, he, he has hair on the, like a notebook. That's depicted for us. Yahweh Shai got the, he got the him, you know. But we don't know if he have it. But you know, you just it's going to show you that yeah, every everybody has their own hairline. Hairline is different. It's a Willow's Peak look. That's some royal stuff because you you look at them even Dragon Ball Z, which is based after Israel. Israel, they be having mighty M's and Willow's Peaks and stuff like that.
hockey, a hockey stick on your face. <laughs> it says, verse 11, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by the Spirit of our power. You don't hear this conversation of, of just making sure you wear your beard, you know what I'm saying? Don't be lining yourself up. You don't hear that in nobody conversation yeah, in the you world. Don't. You only hear that amongst the prophets. Yeah. It's you know? we, we read the stories. Like I was going to say earlier, it was the story from the... Uh, oh, got you. Then, uh, you talking about, uh, about David, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Israel had half their beer shame. Yeah. Right. Know? And then and it was like a shame, you know what I mean? You know? The King David had sent them, you know, back, I believe it was like to their tent, you know? Right. And Aaron's beard was as long as it's gone. He said, David said, don't come back to the city until your beers is gone. Yeah, you couldn't uh -huh. be a man in the city and have a bald face running around. You know, you got to consider you a little boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they would consider you ain't even keeping up at all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, keep on going with your face, dude. Yeah, Jacob, why are you back then, man? <laughs> You already know we be calling the baby uh, smooth with the baby bottom and stuff. Yeah, yeah we'll take your ass to the authorities, man. You ain't keeping it all. Hey, smooth as a woman's breast. Get your breast face ass out of here. You gotta suck the face. 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 Yeah, man. Uh, uh, we did it. Uh, Second Samuel 10. Second Samuel 10. Second Samuel 10. Here we go. It says, um, I'm going to start at verse 3. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 3. It says, And the princes of the children of Ammon said unto Hanan, their Lord, Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father, that he hath sent comforters unto thee? Have not David rather sent his servants unto thee to search the city and to spy it out and to overthrow it? Wherefore Hanan took David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards and cut their garments in the middle, even to the buttocks, and sent them away. Yeah, that go for you t-shirts with friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? They cut their garments to show their ass. Yeah. And notice how that That's how a t-shirt sit on you. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's an embarrassment. Yeah, yeah. I was shy garment was down to the foot. Yeah. You know? That's how the, that's how the patients be in the hospital too. They have it in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was on show your ass. ass. Yeah. 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 See, it goes to show you that they were trying to uh, make mockery. mockery. Yeah. Yeah. So they they cut it down, made their ass be out, and they shaved off the beard. They chose to get the beard. Right. Hey, that's been the apocryphal. Uh, I believe it's the book of uh, Judah. Where uh, Judah was explaining that we was in another fashion. You know, we got different laws and customs. Contrary to the rest of the people. You know what I'm saying? And that's when he was... That's why Hanan did what he did, because he knew, oh, them was some Jews. You know what I'm saying? Because they wear their beards like that. They wear garments the way they wear their garments. You know? Our law separated us from all the other nations. Yeah. We look the best, too. Yeah, we look the best. That's why Queen Sheba thought that King Solomon was the doorman. Well, his doorman was the, uh, she thought the doorman was the king Solomon. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, back in uh, 2 Samuel 10 and uh, 5, it says, When they told it unto David. Right there? We see there. Not the woman. She was like in the days at us, man. She had the woman go all the way down. <laughs> Just like this. It says, um, and when it, it says, When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them. Because the men were greatly ashamed. Ashamed, you know? Because it was a shame to not have a beard on you, man. You know? Yeah. 
So, so why are we still lining our, our beard up? Why are you shaving it? Why are you shaving it? Jacob and Jude, yeah, hey, when you go to Ezekiel, the fifth chapter, it said that he put a razor on his head. He didn't understand what was even the, the context of what happened, man. You know? It's, just, it's always for the girls. That's straight up. That's for the men. That's for sex. Really, women would rather have a man, real women, yeah. you know, the man with hair on his face. Yeah. Yeah. I remember coming out the gym years, this was years ago. This Jack ain't even in the camp no more. But he had a big, he got a big ass beard. Or had a big ass beard. And we coming out the gym. No, we going in the gym. And she's coming out with her friend. And she just was like, ooh, you got a beautiful beard. And I'm looking and she was fine. She's like, can I touch it? And she started grabbing all on his beard. I was like, man. I was going like, yeah. <laughs> all I got is I know, right? Be, but like, women oh. like that, man. She put her hands all in his face, man. You take her, she was a beautiful ass woman. Man. She got excited to see a man with a beard on his face, man. Yeah. It says, um, and the king said, Terry at Jericho, Terry at Jericho until your beards be grown and then return. That's how serious the beard was. When you look up beard, I'm talking about it. It was on you. I remember these going back to 08. Yeah. Oh, man. Them, them street speakers. <laughs> the apostles used to get on Jack head about the beard, man. Okay? When you look up beard in the Zonimus, uh Bible uh, dictionary, I'm going to read it. Uh, Okay, here, beer. It's on page 72. It says, a badge of manly dignity. As a sign of mourning, it was the custom to pluck it out or cut it off. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beards, probably because it was regarded as a heathen, a heathenist sign. And it gives you the scripture, Leviticus 19, 27, which is the law. Right? The scholars know. Why you think Esau promotes shaving off? Why you think you got Gillette commercials? Yeah, yeah you got Gillette. Gillette. When you go to your job, when you work for Esau, you, you can't have a beard. I remember that. I remember it was it was heavy. You know what I'm saying? During years ago, brothers was, you know, had to shave their beards because of their job. And this particular brother, he's still around we love, uh, brother. You know what I'm saying? I remember he asked me because it was it was it was uh you know, the apostle was coming on our head, or coming down. And I just lost, I'm talking about all of Israel. Yeah. And he said, he asked me, what should he do? And I told him, we just have faith, brother. And you know his job stopped fucking with him? And he's, he got his beard to this day, man. Esau don't want us to have our beard because it's intimidating to him. Yeah. He can't it's that royal look. It's yeah. that royal godly look, man. Yeah. He don't want us to look like that. He wants to look like his punk ass, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I can't stand seeing a grown ass Jake with no hair on his face. Yeah. You look soft, man. Yeah. You look, you look, you look like a, you look like Esau created your ass, man. Scares it, bro. Yeah, it, it puts an austere look about you, man. That's why they got that sticker, Fear the Beard. Yeah. Or yeah, they got t-shirts. They got t-shirts. Fear the Beard. Yeah, you got you had uh um, dude that died, Tuki. Uh, 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 the fighter dude. Oh, that's Kim Kimbo Slice, bro. He looked crucial when he, he used to do his street fights. Yeah. When he wore his hair and the beard. Oh. Yeah, you have to like shave it down. Adrian Bonner. Adrian Bonner. He one one week he got a super big beard. Next week he looked like a damn squirrel, man. They showed uh Harding without a beard. That dude looked soft as a duck. 
Jeremiah 6 and 16 it says thus saith the Lord stand in the ways and see and ask for the old paths old paths man all right keep going out there. Keep saying. it says where is the good way it's the good way man the old paths not the way things are, are ran in this western society man you know this uh, feminine ass society man telling you to uh, shave your beard and you know find it up for the girls man you know the old paths is what, what the Lord wants man yeah. That's us coming back to our manhood, man. You know? Yeah, bro. Remember, you know, I, I, I used to cut hair in the world. And I used to hate cutting certain Jake's hair, man. Because that dude on his hairline, I'd be there for an extra 15 minutes. Because it dude, nah, man, it's, it's a little, it's a little, it's a, nah, man, I want it like that. I used to hate that shit, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If the blades even, are too sharp, I just, just cut my shit. Don't even give me a line. Yeah. And then if you keep hitting your hairline, what it does is it, it, it darkens your forehead right there. Why right? you think if you look at LeBron James, he always getting his damn haircut. He got a dark ass rim around his damn hairline. That's another thing. So that dude used to fucking spray some shit. Yeah, you know, you can't that's, that's from that spray shit. Jake right now, Jake walking around this earth and all that's on their mind is women. And that's it. That's how far they, they as soon as they wake up in the morning, it's women. And we ain't saying go around looking crazy. You're supposed to keep yourself You gotta look nice in church, whatever. You know, nah, man. Uh, I have my hair too long. They come in, they have their hair forever and shit. Don't want to cut it. Don't want to cut it. So they go to the Nazarene. I mean, uh, uh, that's right. It says, and you shall find rest of your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Right. It's two thirds of our people, man. You know, they're not gonna walk in the in the, in the Lord's path, on these paths, man. They're gonna stick to what we're doing here. Are you careful, man? The Lord said, uh, are not my ways equal and your ways unequal, all house of Israel? You know? Yo, your ways is all unequal, man. You're shaving your beard, you eat the work, you eat the law.
Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Did y'all really see that uh, video I sent where uh, all those Arabic nations are came together, it was no words, they were all standing, and it was about 30 of them, or no, I would say like 20 of them, all standing, united together with each other. Right. That it was a video I had seen. It was somewhere overseas, they had a meeting. Oh yeah, the, the uh, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Where they had a summit. Yep. They had a summit with all uh, 50, I think it was like 57 of them. Yeah. 57 races. Right. Yep. Matter of fact, let's go to, um, uh, 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 no, quick. Uh, second, um, Ezra 15, where it talks about the Parmenians. When you look up the word Parmenians, it goes back to those Arabic nations. Yeah. In particular, yeah. Iran. Yeah. Because that's where ancient Parmenia was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and those nations, all those nations that's coming together, um, even though they're war with each other, at the same time, they all got that, uh, uh, they all got that vain, like it says in Psalms, the second chapter. Divided the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing. They all got that vain hope of, of, of controlling the world in, in the power they want to do. The new world order. You know? You wait, huh? Yeah, you wait. This is 2nd Edges 15 and 28. Behold, in horrible vision, in the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. That's right, and that's what we—that's what I seen when I seen all them, um, them, 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 them Arabic type people, man. And they all—they all ready, and they declare war on the U.S. They all—they over there talk. They talk about, uh, uh, you know, they basically finna invade the land of Israel. So that war, that World War III, definitely is here right now. It's not a coincidence that at the same time, the, the MOTB system is up and, and it, it's ready to be activated on a global scale. It's ready to go. Which is the two, the two major prophecies before we got it, before all hell break loose and we get the fuck out of here, man. You know? But I... Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as a wind upon the earth, yeah. that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. And when you, when, when them damn small hats are seeing that, they know that they fucking ass is doomed. Because they're surrounded by Arabic nations. Right. They right smack dead in the middle, but then you got all those different Arabic nations all right there, surrounding them, you know? So, Another thing I was thinking about, remember that the, the Euphrates River, the scriptures uh, talk about the Euphrates River dried up so that so that the uh, armies could get ready for war over there. So the war could get cracking. Yeah, yeah, read that part again, bro. Second Edges 15 and 29, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and a multitude of them shall be carried as a wind upon earth that all they which hear them may fear and tremble also the carmenians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood and, and if you see um a wild boar is crazy that's how do the show game of thrones remember king of the north that's how his pop got put to death he got, he got hit by a, a wild pig, a wild boar. And the scripture talks about the, the, the spirit that Ishmael had within him. He's a wild man. All of those Muslim nations are like that. Yeah. yeah. They're all wild like that. When you see some of the footage, the actual real footage, you know, when you go to those different sites, when uh, the mosque went up in uh, they was gunning down some of them people that was wild with. Yeah. They didn't give a fuck. You know, it's, it's just an 
showing you no armor, just an AK. Just da da da. With a beard belt. Yeah, that damn gut. Skipping around with your shit. Look in his eye. Hey, dude, the Iranian Prime Minister. He had that look in his eye, man. You talking about the side? Oh, no, the one dude that was on the CNN. Yeah, on CNN. He had that look in his eye, man. We need to take off the, the content that's being shared on TikTok or Instagram. We gotta take it off. Because these all don't want this fucking uh, wickedness to be shown to the world. Which yeah. is part of the FCC voting to take federal control of the internet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, that's, that's gonna pass. That's already Yeah, they are so yeah, That's they already passed. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna come a time when they gonna, you ain't gonna be able to upload shit. It says, verse 30 again, back in uh, 2nd Andrews 15 and 30, also the Carmenians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood, and with, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them, it shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Look at that. You go, that, dude, that land is going to be getting destroyed. Yep. All of that land is going to be just getting torn to pieces. And now these are the, you got Iran that has nuclear destruction. I mean, uh, nuclear missiles. They have nukes. Turkey, Turkey got nukes. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, I looked up Carmenian. It says Carmenian is historically is a historical region. This is from Wikipedia. It says Carmenia is a historical region that approximately correlates to the current province of Carmen, Iran. Ezekiel 38, though. That's the prophecy of Ezekiel 38 coming to play. And that and that's gonna take place now. That's not gonna take place a thousand years after we didn't already been established. In the, uh, in the kingdom. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Niggas that want to stay in America say any goddamn thing. Say anything, bro. Keep their pockets small. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, bro? Jake proph prophesying against their own salvation. You know? Stupid. Let's go. We're going to put ourselves with destruction. It says, uh, verse, uh, verse 31. <clears throat> And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. Yeah, because the Lord gonna put that wild Ishmaelite spirit back in them, that wild man spirit. And and uh, read it again, bro. Read it and again. That summit proves that the Lord is doing that right now. Yeah. Because those nations all them get them wrong. The Shia Muslims and the uh, I forget the other Sunnis. Sunnis. Shiites, they don't get along, all right? Uh, the Turkey and Iran don't get along, but they put aside their differences to focus on the devils. It's crazy how he saw it infiltrated these damn terrorist, so-called terrorist groups, and they turned it on his ass, man. You know? Yeah. And it's just beautiful because we know how to, uh, the Heavenly Father gave us the understanding of how to match it to the scriptures and the times that we in. Like I said, measure the time diligently in itself. That's the beauty of it. We can take it to the scriptures and tell you like, what the hell is you seeing. You know? Read it again, probably. It's at the upper hand part. Fine. Second Andrews 15 and 31. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if, and if they shall turn themselves, conspiring together in great power to persecute them. That's right, bro. So let's read that, that remember their nature that the scripture is talking about, bro. Yeah, read the scripture and then go to the word wild. This is uh, Genesis chapter 16. Remembering their nature, so that the kamikaze 
running through the desert with his, with his bare feet, with an AK, shooting at you. That's good. that's coming back. But now we're in the urban times where the the sword and knowledge have increased. So it's, it's even much more. Go ahead, I. Yeah. So this is uh, the Hebrew word for uh, wild, wild in that scripture, Genesis 16 and 12, where it comes from the Hebrew Torah. Okay, it says a wild ass. It says a wild ass, you know? <laughs> Since, it says, <laughs> which is a donkey, a donkey, yeah. man. Since I'm running wild. Since I'm running wild. On the moon gear. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Go to the, see if it has a, um, yeah, because the wild ass is just like a donkey that's out there wanting to you know, out there just want to join in the wild. Yeah, and that's how Ishmael used to get out. Ishmael is a, that's how he was able to gather up slaves the way he did. Yeah. Yeah. That's how he got Joseph. You look up um you look up the time of the Arabic slave trade which came right before the transatlantic sl uh, slave trade. That shit was crazy as hell how them damn Arabics had it. Had it. Or, or, or you know, basically selling whoever they can and grabbing up people. And that's how the, the transatlantic slave trade off the west coast of uh, Africa, it was really like, uh, it was stemming from that damn Arabic the way they were doing it. They show you in the movie Gladiator, the dude that had uh, the slaves, he was a damn Arab, man. The older Arab looking dude. Yeah. He was, he, he, he was a damn Arab, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These goddamn Israelites, they crazy as a motherfucker, man. You gotta just you just gotta see it for the nature of the Lord gave them. I'll be seeing that uh, uh, this is a crucible in the gym that I go to. Yeah. I see him this morning and I'm like, they in there with their motherfucking uh, uh, turbans on. <laughs> I ain't bullshit. They don't give a freak too, man. They 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 wholeheartedly stick to their god that they worship, that false god. You know? Hey, yeah, there was a uh, just to back your point up. There was a video I had seen this four bikes in Americanized. She had sat down at a table, she was maybe at a college or something. And she was a free Indian dude, East Indian, Elon, Elamites, which which are Iranian, really, Persians. Uh, she asked if, if they were, if, if uh, she asked one of the dudes if, 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 if she was his type. And he said, no. She said, why not? He's like, I like Indian women to keep my race alive. So them nations, don't deal with outside, uh, uh, they don't look at the women outside of their race. And that's America, man. That's how we're supposed to be. That's how we're supposed to be. say that in Genesis. You know? say that in, uh, I believe that's first Genesis, and it says it in uh, the Old right. Testament. We really don't see those with our women. Yeah, you don't if see you don't them, see the, if you see an women. East Indian with a, uh, 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 any other type, he's, he's having fun with it. He's, a he's not taking, right. taking her serious. He's not taking her serious. You know what I'm saying? And you don't see the East Indian with a uh, the woman with the with the, uh, the jacket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As much, you know, because if the, if it is, they disown their ass. Yeah. You know, yeah. or.
because during that time they was marrying uh, they was marrying them within the other nations in there all of that and the children was coming out speaking the language of the other nations and they were not no they weren't able to trace back the fathers and they was just losing it was just getting lost the and that happened in the beginning lost. that's why in the beginning it says uh and the sons of God took the daughters of men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then Whoa. their sons became valued giants in the earth. But they didn't know the most high because back then women uh, nurtured the children yeah. and taught the children. So what did those women teach? The, the sons of God. Yeah. The ways of them uh, nation. All right? All right? It, wasn't, it ain't like it is now where man go to work every goddamn day. Men had many families back then, man. And the woman was the teacher of the house. And when, when the sons of God, you know what I'm saying, went into those daughters of men, which were the other nations, all right, one angels that came from the sky and start popping women, man. It was men that was considered the sons of God, the sons of God on the earth, all right, that had flesh, all right. They start going into the other nation's women and leaving the seed. And then those same seeds, which were sons of gods, because the man carries a seed, start growing up without the custom and the law of the heavenly father. And that's why violence and corruption started to uh, corrupt the earth. Yeah. All right? Got to uh, have a little bit on that one. Uh, we're going to talk about this first address, 8 uh, 69. It says, the next it's like, let me say this too, and that's why the Most High punished Solomon. It wasn't because Solomon had all those women. It's because those women turned his heart from the Most High, yeah, man. He started building uh, yeah, like temples, temples for them. He started building groves and altars and temples for them, man. Yeah. For their gods. Yeah. And the Most High wasn't having Yeah. You know? You, you people would see this is why the Most High took the kingdom from Solomon because he had all these women. No, it wasn't because he had women. It's because he let the woman take over his mind and take his mind away from the Most High. Yeah, man. Scripture, right. they say uh, turn wits. Uh, Many have run out of their wits. wits. Women. Your, your wits is your mind. Yeah. Your mental fortitude. Yeah. Man. That woman is powerful if you ain't. That woman is powerful if you if you ain't uh, got the Lord with you, man. Where we all die. Zico, jack you up, y'all. Uh, first Ezra 8 and 69. The nation of Israel, the princes and the priests and the Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. To wit of the Canaanites, Hittites, Parasites, Jebusites, and the Moabites, Egyptians, and Edomites. Right. Now, when we went and took over the land, the Lord told us to destroy everything that they had and kill everybody. Now, this is a different uh, account of it, but when you go back to the time of Joshua, yeah. when we went into the land of Canaan, we were supposed to kill them all. But if we didn't kill them all, what did the Lord say? They would be a thorn in our side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what did Jake start doing? Creeping off doing the shit they was doing. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Because it brought instant uh, gratification, gratitude. Yeah. Because Satan is in control of the earth. Yeah. Well, that's what Jake was doing in the beginning in the garden. Yeah. That's what yeah, I say. Yeah. Eat the like fruit. The other nations. Eat the fruit. Yeah, that was that was learning the the uh, the the, the, of the, heathen. Right. the verse seventy. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and the holy seed is see that, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. And from the beginning of this matter, the rulers of the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. You can have concubine, but you gotta have possession of it. Yeah. And, and, 
ain't no other gods up in there, man. You know? Yeah, that, that was some serious. That's how uh, Phineas got his blessing. Remember when Jake was doing that bullshit and then uh, that, uh, uh, they started separating the woman from the congregation. Then here came this Jake with this, uh, I forgot what kind of woman he had, Midianitish woman. He went in the tent with her, and Phineas grabbed the javelin and stabbed their yeah. ass fucking through. Mm -hmm. When they were trying to clean up yeah, the nation yeah. from, you know, shit was getting out of order with the abominations of the fucking heathens. That's why in Genesis, yeah, the heathenistic women had Jake doing all type of weird sexual shit. Yeah. That's why in Genesis, uh, damn, who was that? That was, uh, the 12. Sister. Oh, yeah. Of, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Simeon and Levi. Yeah. So they went in there and they told them, okay, if you get circumcised, because they had a. Uh, no, they raped her. Yeah, they, they raped her. They raped her. They nine, raped her. Nine, but nine, they, nine, was, nine, they was trying to. Uh, they said, yeah, you know, your people. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's find that it, 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 it wasn't, you, We could get down like that. Yeah. Your people ain't our people. So that's why they killed them, man. They let them. Until it got the sword to the soreness, yeah. they, they circumcised him and waited till it got to the soreness of it, if and you, then went in there and slaughtered yep. him. If you go to the prophecy in Genesis 49, to the precept or two, that their anger, uh, where it says that uh, uh, Simeon and Levi are brethren. Yeah, I just want to read the 71. Uh, you get, get the whole story where the brother was talking about how they, you know, verse, this uh, second answer is 8 71. It says, And as soon as I heard these things, I rent my clothes and the holy garment and pulled off the hair from off my head and beard. That's yeah, how that's, that's how I wanted. Yeah. That's how he is, like, right? and like we was talking about how important the beard is, he put on a beard. You know how fast that got to hurt? Yeah, that hurt. You, you in the spirit of, of grief to Dang. do that, man. Just, I don't know if you ever got your beard tangled in your zipper. <laughs> and just pulling a couple of them, no, uh, that shit hurts. That shit hurts. You know? <laughs> it says, and set me down and set me down sad and very heavy. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of a uh, video I seen. This is ago I had a beard on his face, right? A big old beard, he had a little baby. But then he shaved this shit clean. Oh, the baby got scared. Baby was scared of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Turned his whole life. Yeah. He's the 
back where he, he got a turban on and shit. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying, like, uh, Jake gonna get to the point they were in turban. I want, I want to bring out because another point too when you uh, read about Jephthah, remember he was the son of a, uh, a horse. Yeah. And it, it, this is how crucial it was. His brothers disowned him yep. and, and kicked him out then he put up their inheritance because his mom was of a strange nation. You know, but they ended up calling him back because he was a mighty man of war. That's why the scriptures say, Thou shalt not abhor a Syrian. Right. That's, right. You know that's where, remember, Abraham came from. That's where Abraham came from. Yeah, that's where he came yeah. from. Uh, uh, yeah. That's where the child is. Yeah. And you had uh, Jacob going to his wife and Hagar. Yeah, because I'm going to go. supposed to be Jake, man. But when when their when their little cousin when she went out into the city, she had bodyguards with her, man. She just wasn't out there by herself like these women just be out by themselves. And motherfucking men be stalking them and they run back in the store. Can you walk me out to my car? Some dude said they're following me. You ain't supposed to be out like that, man. And she dressed like a slut. You know? You got on spandex and a hockey top showing all your curves. You call you call it men perverts for, for for naturally being attracted to a woman's body. Yeah. Women ain't supposed to be out in a boat by themselves like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I constantly tell my daughter. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not constantly no more, but like look, always be where your surroundings I'm at Target and I'm at, don't be no dummy. Yeah. yeah. That's how your ass gets stuffed in the back of a trunk. Yeah, that's right. Women don't even know that they park to a, next to a car, I mean, next to a van and the door open. And they and, stuff and your they, ass right in there. And they get in the car and shit. But the, uh, the van door, they ain't even notice it. The motherfucker looking straight at her. She got you about to get you. <laughs> you know? Maybe yeah, she too busy on your phone and shit. Yeah. Selfie. Shit, you know, all day, goddamn, you all in the mirror and shit, man. Snatched by the shoulder. Worried about the damn light. You grabbed up, phone fall. <laughs> <laughs> he throw that goddamn fentanyl or whatever it is over your mouth. You out. You wake up chained next next to a pole. Yeah. Like in uh, uh, uh who's that movie? Uh, 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 uh split, split. Yeah. <laughs> your ass, you chained up. He yeah. skipped it and shit. Get you get like some on the black phone. What is that? The black phone? Yeah, the black phone. Black phone. Oh, right. That's a good movie, man. Cloversfield. Cloversfield. Uh, uh, team. Cloversfield. That movie. With uh, John Cook. Yeah. He had all the girl on the face. Yeah. Yep. To these good girls. You know what I mean? That happened to Tisha Campbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, yeah. I think I'm being kidnapped. Then <laughs> the other black lady, she was, she was wondering, like, why you just stop her from her destination? The yeah. dude brought her into a garage. It's going to start getting real bad for you women out there, man. Especially you women that ain't got no hands of a man around you. You independents. You always out and about just floating around like nothing can happen to your ass, man. What's crazy is a woman will bear the cold to look good. She will be in the cold like this, how it is right now, with a mini skirt. And yeah, the altar top. Yeah, I don't get sick either, bro. With a, with a, with a, with a, with a hand purse. 
Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her. He took her. See? Ain't no woman supposed to be out and just roaming. He seen her. She was away from her brothers, her protection. Like, man, this who's part of this woman right here? Yeah. No, she, and, 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 and it is looking at, uh, then, uh, what's that Jeff that done? Yeah, she yeah, went she out. Went out. Yeah. yeah, she went out. Yeah. But the most high preserved them because yeah. the sacrifice had to be pure. So when you go out like that, you asking, you basically looking for a man to take you. That's why, that's why in the in the ghettos, in the hood, summertime, when, when the school is out, you see the junior high girls out in the streets in packs. Yeah. All right? <coughs> because they looking, they hot in their panties. That's yeah. what they call it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, look, look, that's the spirit, bro. <laughs> Across the street. But ain't nobody coming for no buffalo. Yeah, that's a fucking herd. You know that's a stampede. They go on the KFC. You better move out the way. Go ahead. It says, oh, it was Shaquem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her. He took her and lay with her. The Hivite. Remember, who's supposed to kill them all? So he took Dinah against her will and he popped it. Look up that word took. Back to the Strong's H3943, and the Hebrew word is lequak, and it says to take, to fetch, to seize. He took her to see, capture. Great. That's great. Go, go down to uh. It said to take captive, stolen. Go to the Strong's definition. It says the Strong. It says uh. It says to carry away. Uh, yeah, like when <coughs> I mentioned the movie uh, Troy, right? Remember when they invaded the, uh, the, the beach and uh, Achilles, they grabbed the old girl, the, 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 the cousin, they grabbed her up and brought her to Achilles and she was captive. You know what I'm saying? Tied up with a, with a bloody face. But what happened? What eventually happened? She had to humble down and take that. Fell in love with the man, right? So a woman ain't supposed to be outside just uh, uh, roaming, man. See, this, this weak ass society put them laws in place <laughs> that got these women uh, goddamn nose poked out and chest out like nothing can happen to right, them. Right. Uh, but there's, a, there's a, a record, all right? Of, uh, matter of fact, this year alone, thousands of uh, uh, women disappeared in Ohio, Ohio man. There's a light women. You know, because you out and about, not paying attention to what the fuck is going on around you, and they grabbing your ass up, and they putting you in these sex trafficking rings, man. Yeah. Well, check out the NLT version of that verse. Yeah, come. It's uh, Genesis 34 and 2. It says, but when the local prince, Shekim, son of Hamor the Hivite, saw Dinah, he seized her and raped her. Point blank. That's it. Point blank. How the niggas gonna get around that one? Yeah, how they gonna get around that? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? 
How you gonna get around that one, man? The nastiness of the scriptures. <coughs> See, they don't wanna have, you know I take y'all don't want to ready to have this conversation. Y'all ain't ready to have the conversation about the Bible. That's why, that's why Sarnetta going around cutting all you niggas up. Because he learned from Great Millstone, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, man, that dude is good. He's, sal he's salivating on getting a member of Great Millstone yeah. on his show, man. Because he know he reads and he see what we see. It's clear as day. He, 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 he cutting everybody up. He keep using that because he can he know he's gonna cut up. He basically yeah, yeah. said you, you can't know, beat the truth. Is, is the yeah. most girl, yeah. You yeah. can't beat the truth, man. Right? That's why you when our uh, women went out in packs and and it was a time, a certain time of the day they went out with everybody knew it was like it was it was it was um no loose ends on that stuff, you know? Bro, yeah. bro what time is it? It's it's five fourteen and look, it's already dark. Even right now, I don't care about the, the time itself. If you told your daughter to, you know, a certain time, even right now, the, once the sun goes down, your daughter should be at the house. The sun is down. You know what I'm saying? She should be at the house before the sun goes down. It really, it, you know, she shouldn't even be out like that. She shouldn't even be out. <laughs> Without, see, that's why we try to get a fuck up out of battle line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And bring that structure back to our nation. Yeah. So women in warehouses, you know, working, getting passed around. 18, 19 years old, getting passed around Amazon warehouse. College people. Oh, you see that word? I told my daughter, you ain't going to college. Oh, you ain't going to college. You're talking about you want to go to Florida? Hell no. Shit, yeah, now they, they get popped at the high school. They get popped at the high school, man. Up in the bathroom, yeah, or in middle school, uh, in a bungalow somewhere, man. In the cut. Uh, man, man, I got better you know? for myself. Yeah, Shit. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. When you was younger, That's all it takes. Right. You defile right there. And a man go, well, shit, a, a man it this day. It ain't a woman on this planet. Once a man's inside of your walls, you, you can fight them off. Right. There ain't not one woman on this planet that can fight that off. Right. That's your most vulnerable person. Yeah, you, you, you vulnerable. At that point, you lost. Now you his. You ain't finna fight that because that's, that's where you're weak. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 3. It says, And his soul clave unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob. And he loved the damsel. And the and spake yeah, he fell in love with her. She is beautiful. Israelite woman, man. You already know, man. Israelite woman, the finest woman on the planet now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine in the ancient world, man. Because our women didn't wear abundance of makeup, man. That right. shit came from the Egyptians. My woman were na they're naturally beautiful. And then plus he, he had a uh, he had a virgin. And he was an uncircumcised heathen, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell, yeah. 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 make us mad yeah. thinking yeah. about it. She was a virgin, yeah. so you know she My wasn't sister. she wasn't deflowered. She was, you know, she had some uh, you know, 
I ain't gonna say that. Her walls was intact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then she was the only sister of the of the, uh, the sons. That was a lot of, imagine you, all the, all your brothers, you got one sister, everybody like that guarding her. Yeah. You know, they was guarding her. <laughs> it says, and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that the that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter. It says, Now his sons were with his cattle in the field. Jacob held his peace until they were come. Yep. So Jacob heard of it. You know what I'm saying? And his sons, was, he had to break that news to him. Because he knew. You already know. Man, he knew his sons. Yeah. He had to be sick quick. Yeah, yeah. Because he's surrounded by those heathens. He can't just make a move. And they'll jump. They'll easily come and jump. Uh, the, they remember we wasn't a nation yet. Yep, and you know he got his sons wild. Yeah. You know Jake when they young and feisty, like what? what? What's heavy? They ready? You know what I'm saying? They ready to go? They trying to They got who? <laughs> that's why. That's why. Like uh, uh, no, no, go there. No, go there. No, it's like it, uh, no, like in that movie, uh, they killed their own. He's like, I got the whole hood with me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. <Yep. laughs> Six. Go ahead, and Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. Now picture this, man. You got to picture this. Hamor, he came to uh, Jacob. And then the sons of Jacob came out too, like, man, what's happening? You know, yeah. they coming too, like, hold up. We're done at. You know, what business he on? What, what he on? Yeah. Go ahead. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved. <laughs> and they were very rough. Mad the motherfuckers. Man. Like, I know these motherfuckers did. Not our sister. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, I was I, I can't wait to see these real time in the kingdom. Yeah, man. I can't wait to see the that be play, man. Yeah. See uh Judah, Gad, Benjamin, you know, in shape like a motherfucker, man. Yeah. Man. Been performing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, and they were very rough because he had rough folly in Israel. In line with Jacob's daughter, which then ought not to be done. It ain't supposed to be. So all you Israelite women with the hedonistic men, you you going off. Right. You ain't supposed to be with no goddamn heathen. Bearing his children. That's big. Uh, the our people teaching their daughters get get with the heathen. Oh, that's the a new man. thing on on, uh, on social media. Man. Shall be before you dwell and train ye therein. Trying to 
No, the most I ain't never been with that. You know? Go ahead. And get you possessions therein. And Shechem said unto her father and unto her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what ye shall say unto me, I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say unto me. But give me the damsel to wife. In the, verse 13. And the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and her more, his father deceitfully, and said, because he had defiled Dinah, their sister, and they said unto them, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised. For that remember it said they answered the season. Because in the back of their mind, they killed some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. All right, all right, we, we, we'll work with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is a requirement. You can't give our, our sister to, to some uncircumcised motherfuckers. You dirty, I was gonna say <laughs> the D word. <laughs> dirty, you know what I'm saying? You dirty rod having ass heathens, man. <laughs> city say these men are peaceable with us therefore let them dwell in the land and trade their rent man this is beautiful this is a beautiful story man i'm getting hyped thinking about it boy for the land behold it is large enough for them let us take their daughters to us for wives hey mike can you pull up a map and uh, type in the names of hibite or the hibite club and let us give them our daughters Verse 22, only herein will the men consent unto us for to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male among us be circumcised and as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent unto them and they will dwell with us. And unto Hamor and unto Shechem his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city. And every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of the city, of his city. Verse 25. And it came to pass on the third day when they were sore. Yeah, when that soreness started to kick in. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't, you ain't agile. You, know, you can't move. <laughs> that shit's, that shit's and I, I can attest to that. You know what I'm saying? Sure bad, you can't move like, like you know, with, with your rod sword. Any, <laughs> any little friction, touch it, it's, it hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> you tender in between the legs. 
<laughs> Go ahead. It's some light. Yeah. It says, verse 25, And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, the two sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, just two of them, they didn't even get on, on, on uh, 12. Yeah, they didn't even get There's on. two of them. All right? Simeon and Levi. The so called Haitians and the so called Dominicans. Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa and. Uh, uh, Back when they were together, yeah. they, they neighbors. They don't even and, like and, them. And that's, that's a part of the curse. Yeah. yeah. That's a part of the curse, man. Yeah. The war with each other the tight. Yeah. Down. You talking about dudes like Big Poppy that used to he played for the Braves, right? Uh, Red, Sox. Braves. Red Sox. Red Sox. Red Sox. Red Sox. Red Sox. Big Poppy and uh, oh, yeah. what's the famous uh, uh, Haitian? There's a movie called, uh, I believe it's Three Kings. It's about Levi, three brothers. No, no, no. It's, a, it's, a, it's about three Levi brothers. And them motherfuckers was cold, man. Cold, you know? And Levi, them dudes, them dudes are strong, man. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in no church. 
this is again the nastiness of the scriptures man yeah. it says it spoiled the city because they had defiled their system just because they defiled their system you know what i'm saying you you you, you, you took our, our sister and you popped it man we're gonna kill everybody and take all y'all shit we ain't sharing no none of this land we gonna take it we want the gold we want every goddamn thing man what you think we gonna do when we come back down from them ships? <laughs> it says they took their sheep and their oxen. Cattle and all. We need all that. We need that about you. You know what I'm saying? On the file or something, the folks hide. Uh, uh, sister, are you crazy? <laughs> it says, in their asses, in that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, in all their wealth, in all their little ones, and their wives, they took captive. Give me when we gonna take y'all women. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have our way with y'all women. But the men, y'all all gotta go. Hey, guess what? We are the woman of the heavenly father. So guess what he gonna do? He gonna send the brother. The brother gonna come through and fuck shit up. We fucking with the woman, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, the son. I mean, yeah, so like the I said, the brother, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the son, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant to say. Just like the son to take? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's like that. I meant the uh, son. Yeah, but you was, you know, yeah, 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 I was in, I was in this. Yeah. yeah. It says, it spoiled even all that was in the house. Everything. He bought it all, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's rightfully so. And was the most high with this? Yes. Absolutely. Go mm -hmm. It says, And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, He have troubled me to make me to stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the per uh, Perizzites. <laughs> you know, Jacob was up in age. Yeah, yeah. Like, man, why y'all? I gotta live here, you don't! <laughs> yeah. What up, y'all? What's up, man? Go ahead. It says, and I being few in number, they shall gather themselves together against me and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, should he deal with our sister as with an harlot? Right, he ain't finna treat our sister like a hoe. Like yeah. a uh, uh, member of the wood, what you think my sister? My sister, some type of hoe or something? Stacy, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It was one of those movies, boys in the hood. One of them gangster movies where they did uh, when their uh, when their sister's wrong and they uh, want to have it. Men of society. Men of society. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But that was wicked, up King. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was, he was being wicked. He was wicked. But the point being, you know, the story was self-explanatory, man. You know, our women are off limits to the other nation. Point blank, period. Yeah, Sweet, man. man. Shit. Off limits, man. Look at it now, though. <laughs> Look at us now. You got the Israelite woman, she'll go to the corner store and let Ishmael freak off on her for some goddamn new ports, man. Yeah. Yeah. And some Hennessy. All them, guys, all them women that's in the music industry, they freaking off on what the guys Jew man. Yeah. With that old, crinkly, uh, uh, nasty ass heathen, man. The old balls. Adam Sally. We gotta get out of here, man. That's right. Yeah. That story just hyped me up, man. That shit, hell yeah. They ain't finna do our daughter like some harlot. Yeah, yeah, man. But now, the daughters of, of Israel, uh, they all harlots. Yeah, they harlots, man. And who gonna protect the harlot, man? Hey, in the truth, I kill a motherfucker over my daughter. Straight up, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. Yeah. But, you know, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, Absolutely. I'm not playing that shit. Lord willing, that don't ever, I won't, the Lord don't ever put me in no situation like that, but, uh, 
Man, but that's why we bring, that's why we're supposed to bring our children up in the ways of the Lord. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because our daughters would put themselves in a position in order for something like that to happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they know the, uh, the scriptures. They know not the scriptures, but they know the customs. You know what I'm saying? How to carry themselves, how to, carry themselves, how to dress, you know? Okay, call the Lord. How to be respectful, calling on the name of the Lord. All right? Not to be all in men's face. Genesis 49 and um, five. That's, that's the prophecy of uh, Simeon and Levi. Right? Yep, yep. That's why this prophecy makes it makes more sense. It says uh, Genesis 49 and five. It says Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Which goes Ooh. back to uh, the voodoo. The Dominicans call it. Uh, Say it again. Santeria. Which is which is basically left hand uh, magic, witchcraft, right? Because they both dwell uh, dwell with over there on the Isle of Hispaniola, which is uh, Dominican Republic. You know, it says, "Oh my soul, come not thou into their secrets, into their assembly." Onto their assembly, I'm sorry, onto their assembly, my honor, be not thou united. Right, that's why they're not united over there. You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine them two, them two tribes united with their black guys? They're doing some shit. And that's why the Lord said, I can't deal with these. They over there dealing with Satan. It says, for in their anger they slew a man. And then their self will they get down and ball. Yeah. That was that story that they, in their anger they slew a man, which was uh, the, all them men of Shechem. Yeah. And they dig down the wall, which was that, like Jacob said, you didn't made me a stink amongst the inhabitants of the uh, of the land. You know, you basically, my, the, the protection, you kind of right. fucked it up. You know? But it was all of the Lord anyway. Uh, it's all of the Lord anyway. It says, um, "Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I would divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel." Yep. That's what happened. Divide them and scatter. Right. right. You see, uh, Levi with a damn uh, with a big old uh, machete, suck the damn leg off. You know. They <laughs> hit you right with a machete. Benjamin, all them, they get angry too. Yeah, because you don't have uh, firearms like that over there in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And that's up close and personal too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You gotta be on some shit to put a motherfucker down <laughs> with a machete. Yeah, you gotta be. You gonna hit him with a plug or squirt on your face. <laughs> that's up close and personal. Yeah, that's either rage on you or rage. Oh, hey, like the scripture said, his anger was what? It said, it said, um, curse be their anger, for it was fierce. Anger was fierce. You know, so motherfucker that's running after you for the second. He got some fierce anger. Oh yeah, remember this one boy? He had the he had the rage burns. Body, the chest, the, you know, he he didn't stop until her body was just lifeless, lifeless, blood ass naked. That was strange, bro. He called him literally. He called him literally the blood act. ass naked. Yeah. In the act, wasn't he hit it from the back? He was <laughs> in her. He was in her. And that motherfucker called a knife to the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you hit a nigga in his back with a knife, depending on how 
against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Ain't they gonna have another W? to like Starbucks or whatever food spot that they um, right. eat at because we got you want your receipt printed email text to you yeah goddamn always uh, say Domino's pizza 
Yeah, that's what I said. Give me the paper, man. You try to download the piece of got all your information. With your, with your gas. Yeah. You link your debit card with the gas. Now they track how much gas you put in your car. Yeah. <laughs> so all they got to do is shit, now bro. just transfer all the information, your data, <laughs> yeah, that's just, to the micro C here, which is nothing but a clickable button. That's it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to put the little C here. They're going to program it. All right, now we just got to insert it. Yeah, that's what it's called tethering. When like you get a new phone, yeah. and you can tether all the information from one device to the other one. Yeah, that, who who sent that? I think it was uh one of y'all brothers that sent the commercial that's that's in Israel right now. Where the children are Shema, talking about uh, Shemaiba uh, put that in there. Shemaiba. Yeah, Shemaiba. They're getting the uh C hip and they're saying it in the Israeli language, the Yiddish, that the chip is gonna connect to their nervous system as well as their brains. See? Mm -hmm. See? Remember they had at Walmart some years back, they was doing this, uh, see here for the kids. Remember that? Chip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Chip. Which is, uh, what does it stand for? It's, it's an acronym. Uh, uh, children Children's Health Services. Yeah. 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 Program. <laughs> That's what it stands for. Yeah, they was right in front of Walmart. Get a toy, then. Give me free toys, then. Cover it up. Get a free toys. And then you had the Jake on the TikTok at the Walmart explaining how the Walmarts is going to cash yeah. You know, so that's another where graduates and tourists to cash us aside. And they know who mostly be at Walmart. Yeah. Jake. Yeah. And, and now, everybody, you forced to go to Walmart. Yeah. Judgment. Man, 
Timothy 2 and 3. It says, they have oh, taken crafty counsel against thy people. They consulted hey, them. The tip is a crafty counsel. We were just talking about how all the data that's being input, it's a crafty counsel to, to switch it over. They're going to take it away for a while, and then they're going to say, look, we, 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 uh, we got away. You know? Well, that's crucial, too. Um, looking at the root word of uh, paragma, which is the paragma, and then they go to parox, and then parox take you to graphical, which is the Greek word for commit to writing. So yeah. to put something in writing. Like your autograph. Yeah. Huh? Graph. Yeah. Huh? That word graph. What's in yeah. that potion? Yeah. So they program that graphene oxide to do whatever it's going to do. Uh -huh. That's it's a software. So it says, we have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy enemies. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And that's ultimately how you'll be cut off from the most high permanently until you reborn in the kingdom. As a baby, okay? As a baby, Nate, uh, uh, let me, excuse me, uh, General Nathania Alagas, your Mr. highness. Hey, uh, Gates gonna play a big role in that because that's why you got uh, Microsoft, you got the micro see here in soft skin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those are two words, micro soft. You know, they thought about this way back then, man. It's not nothing, they, it's not even no coincidence. These, these names that they give their companies is not a coincidence. Yeah, they be too far understanding. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they it's know. It's good to tell you, the two of this world are wiser. name of Israel may be no more in, in remembrance. Now, if they were able to get all of Israel to take that seat of them, we are all be. But it's not possible because the Lord kept him a cluster of the uh, uh, of the vine, man. 18,000 men that went by the knees to Baal. Yeah, yeah, remnant. Yeah, because that thing, that, that them, that technology, like the brother said a little earlier, it, Data and he could, um, what is it? He could pull data out. So that motherfucker, he got some shit where he could, he show you in the movies where he could race it out your mind. Yeah, the, the movie that depicts that technology is Minority. Yeah. With uh, Tom. Imagine if he could pull it out. they can prevent you from committing the crime before you commit it. Yeah, that movie was about the technocracy. He's 
time, bitch. He said, how'd you know? About your last name. He said, like, yeah. He was kind of like, I was like, you Sicilian, huh? He's like, yeah, what, you know something? I like, yeah, I know. But I could tell he had that Jake vibe to him. He loved basketball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was talking shit. Yeah, it's, it's easy. But he looked like a straight white boy. Right? And then they be accepted. Like, I remember it. So they just accepted it. It was like no fight, no struggle. It was and he had a vibe because yes. they got the same spirit. If you notice, yeah. if you notice when you when you when you hung out with certain those cats that looked at white, they was allowed to say that. Yeah. And you and, and, yeah. And it wasn't like, it wasn't even like a... a because they knew how to say it. They knew how to say it. It, it was like, it they it said it, it like yeah. Jake. Yeah. They used it at a time where they, you know, like yeah. Jake would use it. So it wasn't like, man, what's up with this dude, man? Yeah. <laughs> but when it Esau, when he do it... When he do it, he do he it said, the record skip. Everybody ready to get him. him. <laughs> yeah, so, so if you out there and you maybe have pale skin, but you, your, your spirit resonates with this message that we're pushing through the spirit of fire, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh more than likely you are in this one, right? You got to put that out there. circulation so long. It's been the world reserve currency for a long time. That's why it just ain't, it, you just can't just get rid of it. Because if they would have just straight up start using their currency, it would collapse their system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You finish that out. Oh. It says, verse 8, it says, a sword also is joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. That's the Syria, as sure as the Syrians. But you got all that, that region. Yeah. Uh, they all don't fire over here. Yeah, we went in captivity under the Syrians, the northern kingdom. That's where uh, you've got uh, where Kim Kardashian is. What's that? They're uh, from Syria. They're from Syria. Are they from Syria? That's us, Syria. But what's the people they're, called? They're, they're, uh, uh, they're called uh, Armenians. Yeah, Armenians. 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 Armenians.
And then it says, um, those which lie to the cast of the Tigris between Armenia, Susiana, and Media, namely Ad Ebony, you know, the Syrian Empire, Mesopotamia. All those beaches over there. So all the cases are on these divisions. You know? The Heavenly Father has given us back life. And we are back on the rise to the spirit of power of the Abbasidel Shah with his word. And prophecy will be fulfilled. And it's either you with Yahweh Shem and Abu or you against him. Alright? And if you against him, that's a fight to a thousand people. So that's why we come out here to urge you. Uh -oh.